covering every county. This is your statewide newscast, Arkansas Today. Good Friday afternoon, I'm Mallory Brooks. Thanks for watching Arkansas Today. 47-year-old Deborah Stevens was delivering newspapers early Saturday morning when Swift Waters washed her car off the roadway and she was unable to get out of her car. Donna Reno was working her last shift after previously resigning and answered Stevens' call for help. The 911 call was just released, documenting her last dying moments. We do want to warn you, you may find some of what you're about to hear and see disturbing. Miss Debbie, you're going to have to shut up, okay? A horrifying 911 call that would end up being the last moments of Deborah Stevens' life. This will teach you next time don't drive in the water. No. I don't see how you didn't see it. You had to go right over it, so. While water was rising up past her chest and completely covering Stevens' SUV, the dispatcher, Donna Renault, heard telling Stevens, who was panicking, to stop. You're not going to die. I don't know why you're freaking out. When first responders were finally able to reach Stevens and remove her from her car, she had already drowned. I completely understand the uh, disgust and the concern uh, that we all have in regards to the interactions between the dispatcher and uh, Miss Stevens. Fort Smith Interim Police Chief Danny Baker says Renault had been with the department for five years and was a certified dispatch training officer. She handed in a resignation on August 9th, and this call was taken during her last shift, very possibly her last call she took. It's, it's a tragic thing. I understand that. Are there things that we need to maybe look at in our response? Absolutely. I don't have an officer available, so it's going to take a minute, so I'm going to try to get somebody out there, please. Baker says there were nine officers and four dispatchers on duty Saturday morning. Inundated with 911 calls from other people also stranded in floodwaters. Everything was done that was humanly possible given the circumstances and at that time to save Miss Stevens' life. And I'm horribly sorry that that wasn't possible. Now Baker says he'll be taking a hard look at how FSPD responds to these accidents in the future. Obviously we can't in investigate someone who no longer works here. However, uh, an investigation into our policies, our responses, our dispatch center. I've been in communication with the fire chief. We're looking at uh, what we can do to maybe increase uh, training for our dispatchers in regards to swift water rescue and other things. Mm -hmm. It's Kelly O'Neill reporting. Interim Chief Baker says since the dispatcher is no longer employed with the police department, no action will be taken against her because she did not do anything criminally wrong. In Jonesboro now, the Oversight Integ Integrity rather, Council heard numerous requests for quality of life for projects in Jonesboro. The Council's job is to select and prioritize projects to recommend to the City Council. Scott McDaniel with Team Jonesboro was the first presenter at the meeting. He hopes that through the Council, a community can be formed that is hard to leave and easy to come back to. I'm going to present first of all a vision statement and just that, that's my main thing I'm going to talk about right now is just the vision of this council, what it can do, what it's for, the importance of actually a community being able to talk directly to, to uh, a council of this nature. It's a process that could take months before recommendations were made to the city council and it all depends on if a sales tax increase is passed on September 10th. The Bella Vista Fire Department and NWA Food Bank are helping people recover from Monday storms. Many who lost power also lost everything in their fridge. The fire department picked up a lot of food from the food bank and took it back to the fire station for people to pick up. Those who benefit from it says this makes a huge difference for people still trying to clean up from the storms. We would be in serious trouble because it's actually really hard to find food banks and everything like that. and We, we would have been struggling. The fire department also delivered food for people whose streets are blocked. 